Geni Hotspot Transmitter from General Pipe Cleaners makes locating pipes and utilities easier than ever. This video provides a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using General's Geni Hotspot Transmitter. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the hotspot can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. This video does not include a complete list of all of the recommended safety procedures and does not provide specific instructions for every application. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the hotspot can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. Remember these safety rules as you operate the hotspot. Be wary of buried power lines, utilities, and other hazards. Before you dig, contact OneCo and any utility companies that do not subscribe to OneCo. Have all underground pipes and cables located and marked before digging in the area. Do not connect transmitter leads to live power lines. Electric shock or damage to the equipment can result. Read the operator's manual before using the equipment. Contact General Pipe Cleaners if you have any questions about operation, maintenance, or equipment use. The hotspot transmitter generates up to 5 watts at 1 kilohertz, 8 kilohertz, or 33 kilohertz, and 1 watt at 65 kilohertz. You can trace pipes or utilities using direct connect, induction, or a clamp. To trace a gas line with a tracer wire using the direct connect method, place the transmitter near the line to be traced. Place the ground stake into the ground away from the transmitter. Plug the cord set into the side of the unit and clamp the black lead to the ground stake. Then clamp the red lead onto the tracer wire. Note, be sure the transmitter is off when connecting or moving the ground stake. Press and hold the on-off button to turn on the transmitter and check the battery. Replace if necessary. Press the frequency buttons F plus to scroll up or F minus to scroll down to select the transmitter's frequency. Lower frequencies travel farther than higher frequencies. Higher frequencies couple onto lines more easily but run the risk of energizing objects other than your target. Press the power output button to select a power setting from 0 to 5 watts. Note that 65 kilohertz can only transmit at 1 watt. The transmitter display shows the connectivity and conductivity of the transmitted frequency. The output indicator will spin while looking for a connection and lock when the connection is made. If it never stops spinning, you have a bad connection. The milliamp indicator appears when in direct connect mode. A percentage will appear in induction mode. The number indicates the level of connectivity or resistance in the ground. The higher this number is, the better. If the number is zero, you have a bad connection. If the number is low, increase the transmitter output power to overcome the resistance and make it easier to locate. For most location jobs, including gas lines and utilities with tracer wires, copper pipes, and sewer snakes, we recommend using a lower frequency at a higher power setting for best results. If you're tracing cast iron pipes, we recommend using 33 kilohertz at maximum power. Before you start the location, be sure the locator is set to match the transmitter. Press and hold the on-off button on the hotspot pipe locator to turn the unit on. Check the battery strength on the display. Replace the batteries if needed. Switch to line location by pressing the mode button until the line location icon appears in the display. Then press the antenna button until the twin peak icon appears on the display. Press the frequency button until the frequency displayed matches the one on the transmitter. Press the up button once to automatically adjust the locator's gain. 
When you are locating, if the signal reaches 100% on the display, reduce the gain by pressing the down arrow, then continue. The locator and transmitter both have four volume levels, off, low, medium, and high. Press the volume button to select the desired volume setting. Facing away from the transmitter, walk in a 25-foot circle around the transmitter. Rotate the locator and observe the display. The locator display will show a line in a circle to indicate the direction of the pipe. Move in the direction of the center arrows. When the arrows form a diamond, you're over the target. Auto depth will appear when the target is correctly located. Continue to trace the line and observe depth every few feet. Mark the line with appropriate color paint or flags. Be sure to consult your manual for complete operating instructions and general care of your locator. Contact the Drain Brains at General Pipe Cleaners if you have any questions about operation, maintenance, or equipment use. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.